said his goodbye to Razorback fans and now Daniel Gafford is on to the NBA draft. The former Arkansas star gives a first-hand look at just what it takes to be a prize prospect. And he tells us why he believes his stock is trending in the right direction as we continue on Daniel's journey from El Dorado to the draft. While sun-soaked days drift away, <coughs> Daniel Gafford continues to work. When I see you walking on the beach, you look so fine. As you wander, I wonder, will you be mine? There are no short days for Gafford here. There are workouts to do, yoga to practice, oh, man. drills to master. Oh, full, full extension. Film to study. Yeah. He's shooting jump shots. Yeah, he can dude. actually get up and like you know knock it down too. Basketball to play, and that's just on Mondays. The dream of playing in the NBA is free. The grind, well, that comes at a cost. And having to go day in, day out, every day, six days a week, and having only one off day. I mean, it's tough on some people's mental process. Three, four, you're good at this. Hard work is the price of a professional career. One Gafford is more than willing to pay. I had to think back on who I was doing this for and what I was doing it for. In fact, it was my family. I mean, it was time for them to get the life that they wanted. And I, you know, I can make that happen. For NBA scouts, it's no secret where Gafford's strengths lie. You describe most as a rim runner. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? A real run, running the floor, in and in, first playing defense and getting back on offense to either score or help your team score. Is that the kind of player that you want to be and want to be known as? Yeah, I want to be defense first and offense last because, you know, that's how I've been playing all my life. Just, you know, protecting home, then going and making home better. <laughs> the question remains. Can he shoot? With like my jump shot and stuff like that, you know, I've wanted that to be, you know, at its peak for the longest. So working with these guys, they put me with guys that it has, has actually helped me, you know, perfect my shot and become better at it. It's a skill he didn't showcase in Fayetteville, High off the but one he's eager to prove he possesses. I mean, it was at times to where I could have took a wide open jump shot. You know, sometimes the confidence wasn't there. I thought I was going to miss, you know. That's a jump shot. The style of play in today's NBA favors big men who can stretch the floor. In Synergy Film Sessions, Gafford studies the type of player he might become. I like Blake Griffin's game a lot because he's developed from, you know, to being a back-to-the-basket player to an all-around player. You know, he can handle the ball now, he can shoot, you know, he can basically do it all now. His sophomore season saw him slide down the draft board, but Gafford's not concerned. My numbers did most of the talking for me. When it came to um, dealing with the fact that I was, you know, somewhat dropping in the draft, I mean, because, you know, I feel like I'm, you know, one of the best bigs in the draft, to be honest, you know, if we being real here. I'm pretty sure my draft stock is going to go up sooner or later, but until then, we just got to keep working. Gafford's agent told me that Daniel has been invited to the lottery draft in Chicago on May 14th, an invitation typically extended to players who are believed to be selected as a lottery pick, which could be an indication of just how high Gafford could go. Though his career in Fayetteville has come to a close, we will continue to follow Daniel's journey from El Dorado to Miami and ultimately to the NBA.